Hey Aries, welcome to your general reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the videos I post each month. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you guys. If you already know me, welcome back, my soul family. And I'll leave information about the decks of cards I use in the description box, okay? Make sure I haven't got the deck reversed there. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. I surrender to a power greater than me. Too many came out, but we're going to take them. The universe has my back and when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Okay, so, you know, I feel like some of you may be praying here for what you think you need and you'll get something even better you know, what you actually need. And you'll be like, oh, I didn't even think of this, but I needed this. That's the universe, right? When we go on the faith of the universe that um, you will always get what um, you actually need rather than what you think you need, then you'll have real peace. You'll have real peace of mind, real peace of heart. And, you know, look, look at these birds here. Absolute wonderful. The universe does have you back. I feel like maybe you're thinking it doesn't because maybe sometimes you pray for something and get something else. But the universe does have your back. And I say that because these cards there was reversed. Um, but they're oracle cards, so we're not going to leave them reversed. I surrender to a power greater than me. And that's all you've got to do. You know, you've just really got to trust in a higher power and that everything that happens, happens for a reason here. So, you know, when praying, don't pray for what you think you need. Pray and be thankful, give gratitude, count your blessings, what you do have, and you'll see, you know, that, yeah, you're the emperor here. You have so much already to be thankful for. And you'll get so much more than what you prayed for in the first place. Because the emperor, he's abundant here. A lot of people just focus on the negative traits of the emperor. Like he's stubborn and things like that. Or he's an old man or woman. But in actual fact, the emperor, just like the empress, is abundant. Has so much to give. Right? And I feel like the universe right now is trying to give you um, abundance and a lot of things here. Um, I think you might be asking for something specific and it's sort of putting blockages in your way. So let's say you're asking for um, a lover to return and it's not time for that yet. Um, the universe could be trying to send you abundance in money, in friendship, in in love in other ways or in, you know, things like that. Just remember that, you know, pray for the highest good of all and lean on this faith, right? You'll have that peace there. So there's this positive energy coming in for you. Six of pentacles here, okay? Um, and I do feel like this could be like money's trying to come to you. There's some sort of abundance trying to come for you. Maybe this person here looks down, like they look like they're praying as well with the praying card there. You could be praying that for some money or that a money situation works out for you here. And your angels are there in the picture, you know, saying, we are with you. We have heard you. Now have faith. We've heard your prayer. So I do feel like abundance and positivity for money is coming in for you guys here. Four of Swords, um, it was reversed. The Four of Swords upright is no movement. But here we're getting this movement. And this could be like a broken heart that sort of slowed you up, slowed your game. So maybe you was focused on starting a new business and then your heart was broken. So it's sort of, they're all linked together, which... A lot of people don't realise. So when we're healing our broken heart, you know, <clears throat> we'll heal a lot of other things and other relationships in our life as well, okay? So I feel like you're still getting over this pain. 
you're not fully healed from this broken heart. It could have been somebody with a significant age different giving to more than one person here with the Six of Pentacles. So when I say that, it might be that um, there was putting other people before you, not just a third party, right? Because we have other things in life. A third party could even indicate um, their mum getting involved or their dad with the emperor here. Um, you know, them having to take care of a sick parent, you know, got in the way of your relationship and you both really loved each other, but you just had other things in the way here. So I feel like maybe time, you just didn't have the time for each other or something, but you've never really got over each other no matter what it is here. Yeah, the lovers. So it's like this was a really strong divine connection. The lovers is also number six there as you can see at the top so that six of pentacles that's how i know it's related to a relationship um it seemed like they wasn't giving you enough whether it be time um you know whether it be loyalty or attention whatever it was it just didn't feel like enough but it may have felt like for them it wasn't enough so they may have made a decision to leave but then with the four of swords reversed they could never get over it and it's because it was this divine love and it seems like now this person would be surrendering to a higher power a higher calling and like you it's like it could be you as well like i'm just gonna fall down on my knees and just say you know take the wheel here help me out and when you do that when you surrender you'll see that things come into place and the lovers is about healing about this newness and about this attachment that we can't let go so king of swords right for me the king of swords can be a twin flame connection it depends because this is a general reading but this is like you've learned a lot through this and I feel like a soulmate could have learned a lot that they couldn't let go, that what they was doing was wrong here, that now they feel like I need to surrender. I need to apologize. I need to like, they feel like falling down on their knees here and just be like, help me, universe divine, help me here. And there's some sort of knowledge or somebody who's coming in with knowledge to help you or help them give them some information that they need to help them on their way so maybe it's signing a new contract for a new business or a business loan coming in here okay maybe it's seeing um a solicitor or a lawyer um getting that information to help them but there's somebody coming in very quickly now it could be um a gemini aries but all the signs will generally come out libra um, Aquarius uh, that comes in that could be your soulmate or it comes in to help you here give you the information you need Queen of Wands now yeah so it's about taking action once you get this information you can then take appropriate action so then your business or your heart you know your love life it receives this healing this help that's needed because you surrendered, because you are waiting for an answer from a higher purpose or a higher good, you know, because you're starting to trust here, you can then take appropriate action. You can then get the help you need here. Um, King of Cups now. So it could be that you get advice on love, somebody loving you. The King of Cups upright um, is somebody who's keeping their love to themselves this way i feel like they're gonna i'm feeling like drake i spilled all my emotions tonight i'm sorry so this person i think that's about being drunk so um what is it rolling rolling how many more shots till we're rolling what is it we just need a face to face it's work 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 yes yeah, it's, it's, the song is work by drake and rihanna there um that i was singing so it can even be to do with work because it's regarding money, right? So you may even be, let's say, get a information about, you know, how your work has been mistreating you here. And this is somebody realising, okay, maybe I did mistreat this employee here. Um, or 
a lover or a friend realizing that their feelings for you after you know they've realized i can't let go so i think the song goes on to say we just need a face to face um so this is what i'm feeling like now you've got this advice you approach them and you want to speak to them dead on in their face like look i've been sat in quarantine i've been sat in lockdown for two three months i'm just gonna ask you right to your face so this person it seems like they could be coming to talk to you now either they're getting some advice or you are getting some advice from somebody older and somebody wiser definitely um another king here but they're showing up now like i don't need these words i need action so they now become what you need right so this is why they're showing up as um, king and queen and the lovers here they now can become what you need i don't need somebody who's going to just talk and spill all their emotions when they're drunk <laughs> who've had plenty of shots right i need somebody who's going to take action i need somebody who's going to fight for me somebody who wants something real somebody who's ready to build with me and that's what they're coming forward to do this is what they can do it could be that they're sat with a group of friends and they're like, get drunk and they're like, you know what? I can't get over this person. And they say, well, what are you doing? You know, wise up, go tell them. And then they take action here. And like I said, it could be that there's other people involved. They could have been a third party. It could be that both of you are seeing other people. It could be that they are dealing or looking after family members here. It is a general. So, what have we have now? Six of Wands. Yeah, again, related to the lovers. Six of Wands, it's a overcoming a spiritual lesson, but it's reversed here, so this is not over. Whatever this is, is not over yet. It's unfinished business. That's what we have going on here. Unfinished business, but somebody is going to come towards you here and have it out face to face. Queen of Pentacles, look at that. Then your money, everything falls in line because you've learned to put yourself first. You know, um, they understand now that maybe they was taken and taken from you, how much they nurtured you, how much they tried to put this lock on you and you know didn't want you to do anything they just realized how wrong they was now so it's like opening the door and letting somebody free but understanding this person will come back to me i don't have to chain them up you know if, if like this butterfly up here if somebody loves you they will return to you so take care of yourself ground yourself tell yourself the truth because this person is coming in